There is magic in this game. Kind of. So we only want the heirlooms. Also we are on Apprentice, so... A Shambler spawn is quite... Um, Unlikely was the word I was searching for right there. <laughs> Quite unlikely. Wow. Can't even kill that fucking thing. See, even the Hellion can kill the snail. Thank you. Crusader reads so hard, people die. Well, I guess the Crusader... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, which way do we actually want to go? I mean, I guess we go left first. Oh, nice. So we can actually... So there's a 50-50 chance for him to lose his Shard Mercenary Quirk. There we go. Oh, hello. Piled high. And cloaked in malice. Stun. Nice. Hello, Mr. Collector. Goodbye, Mr. Collector. I guess we can take one. Wait, what? It was just a bump in the road. Don't don't mind it. Can just cure the whole charge. Yes, but only um, with um, the cures that remove a random negative quirk in missions. Oh, there is another one. How convenient. Let's try it again on the Vestal, it's still a Shark Mercenary. Uh, I guess... Try and kill him. Vestal can finish this guy. I don't want him to guard and increase his protection. There we go. So yeah, with the curious like the Eldritch Altar, or the Coral, or the Scrolls, um, you can actually cure them. So, one in three. Okay. Also, since like the Cove has Eldritch Altars and um, the corals are not that unlikely, pretty likely to show up, at least, especially in long missions. Um, should be not too much of a problem. Um, yeah, I can always open my Steam overlay for you guys. So all the upgrades, building upgrades, even, um, Achievements, a couple of them are left. We have to lose somebody to hunger. Complete the game. Caretaker. Stuff. Um, I think I have to lose a hero to a maggot as well at some point. Um, but these are all things I'll basically keep for the end. Before I do the final Darkest Dungeons. I want to... I wanna get done with the area grind and do all the bosses first. Hey, thanks full time Robert. Um, yeah, I agree. There is a lot of people. I mean, I guess everybody starts somewhere and if you just happen to not have played like how much hours do I have now played? 
Oh, it's oh well. I guess it's the wrong account, so it's only seventeen hours here. But on my on my actual account, I have like a little bit over a thousand hours played. So there are not many surprises to me anymore in this game. Also, I speed run this game, so <clears throat> um, yeah. I guess kind of good good gameplay is to be expected at some at some oh another coral hi um, oh well only shark mercenary left so I guess if we find another one that's <laughs> Murphy. Yeah, exactly. I bring them to Cove missions <laughs> to cure them of the refusal to go into Cove missions. Um, what point should I do bosses? I would say level up your heroes. I mean, depends a little bit on the difficulty you're playing on, I guess. But leveling before you do any of the bosses, even on apprentice difficulty, I would bring your heroes to at least level 1 or better even level 2. Um, the party you're using and giving them all the upgrades um, you can give them um, if if you're new to the game that is immediately bakey <laughs> exactly. It's all uh, inception, basically, at this point. Nice. Uh. I guess we do it, because whatever. We want the loot anyway, so might as well um, do a room battle. Finding the stuff is only the first test. I mean, I guess I could take some gold, not that I really need it. Oh. Okay. Like this, <laughs> they're more fitting in world for this. Oh, that's a nice one. Five hundred IQ plays right there. One off, and I mean, also at some point we have to do a Stygian run as well, which is plus three hours essentially. Oh, yeah, definitely. The fish tanks are an absolute pain, especially uh, on the middle. I agree. 100% Bestel is Bestel As usual I'd really like to have the shield breaker there. 
for Milan. I mean, it kind of um, makes it even more trivial when you can break guard. But yeah, I mean, we probably just have to talk about it within the admin community. If we want to allow it. What did you talk to them though? Well, it's really good in the cove to bring um, a witch doctor. A uh, witch doctor, yeah. Nice. A plague doctor. Um, since the enemies have low blight resistance. But it's not like practicable for speedrunning since it just basically takes too long. Oops. Takes too long um, to kill anything. I mean, I guess there are some longer fights where it probably wouldn't really matter. But usually we prefer to have direct damage over dot damage. Not because dot is worse, it's just slower for speedrun. Oh yeah, I, I I use double shield breaker for my endless harvest runs for sure, always. Even use triple if you like. The ground quakes. The ground quakes. Wow. Okay. That was a nice crit. Three of those elements. What can we actually throw away? Should we throw away the holy water? Probably the anti venom. And the bandages. Since we're really interested in purging curios anyway, chests we can open with shovels. Anything else we don't really need. Vestal chest, the two shield breakers, yeah. Even though you don't need to stress heal from the chester when you virtue scum. Um, but the speed buff is so good. And quick buff. If only treasure could start to flow. And yeah, flagellant is amazing. Uh, oh, I'm actually stupid. Nice. I actually thought there was a connection here, so we have to backtrack all of this. Alright, nice. Yeah, Flagelland is slower, probably on average, than the Plague Doctor speed-wise. But Flagelland has some unique perks that are really good. Dependent on how many food checks we get, we could actually lose somebody to hunger here. Which we need to do anyway at some point for the achievement. Oh yeah, Flagelland was very much better than he is now. And it was really OP. I mean, he's like toned down by like a third or something. And also the, um, the introduction of... Um, um, of like the limited availability of uh, the super powerful combat abilities and heals and stuff um, also hurt him pr very much. He's still really really good. Um, he's not a dead class after nerfs. Nice. Oh, actually. Nice. Easy first try. Uh, 
Oh yeah, definitely the limited use of skills was needed, no no question. But uh, but that was also what hurt or nerfed the flagellant. Not only the numerical nerfs. Oh yeah, that's all oh, yeah, that's that's true, that's a thing I don't understand either. I only I can only transform once with the abomination. Nice, let's not have that. <clears throat> so we need to get to this one room there. The smell of rotting fish is I think. Imagine turning into the thing more than once per fight. The smell of rotting I mean, depends what you're using the abomination for. Really? Nice. Let's move the shaman next. Yeah, like Rapturus is is nice. Oh, there, there we go. Um, oh, we actually already been here. It looked like it was an active one. I guess we don't purge Shark Mercenary this time. Um, sure. Throw away the keys. Uh, you mean, you're talking about the Abomination now, right? Like, make virtues coming easier or quicker with the added stress. Yeah, usually, especially like on Veteran and Champion, stress levels get really high pretty fast anyway. So usually that's not an issue to get people stressed. Also, like, I mean, the the com uh, the composition that I run is just because it's usually it's just the fastest since you have to repost from the highwayman. You got the speed buff, speed buff when the highwayman crit, which happens a lot. So they will usually act first, um, and the hellion can hit everything and can also move around with a good damage skill. So. And the Vestal is the consistent healer. Let's open that clam. Oh, we got some food. So, does it really matter? I think both corridors are equally long. Oh yeah, you get the virtues. You get multiple virtues slash resolve checks anyway when you go past the sleeper. Usually even before the sleeper you will almost always have a resolve check somewhere there. So there we go. Oh. Good. oh yeah. 
does. For if you wanted to be a level one, you need highwayman. For sure. Nice. No bad quirks this time. Oh, she's still away. Okay. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. It is shameful. Uh, have we done? Yeah, we have done this. And we have killed a hateful. Virago. Hmm. Should we do the flesh? Let's do the flesh. Let's see if we can get another hunt master, maybe. No, nope. <laughs> three vessels though. I think that's fine. And I mean, we could technically bring a Chester. Since it's the Warrens anyway, I have it like this. Um, or maybe like this even. Probably bring two healing trinkets. Oh, God of God Striker uses. I like Snake Nightmares. Um, we actually don't want to go Torchless here since uh, since A it's a boss and B it's champion. So guess we do it like this. Should we bring the map? I mean, technically, no, we don't need the map. Rather have more dodge on him. Uh, sure. All right, seems fine. Uh, I got two out of three Madman boxes. Um, and I mean, they are not part of the achievements anyway, so this doesn't really matter, but yeah, I got, got two of them. Um, bring some Laudan, I guess. Be right back. were heaped each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. The Warrens had become a landfill of snout and hoof, gristle and bone, a mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh fusing itself together in the darkness. Oh, you mean the the boxes? Yeah, they are hard to get to get for sure. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Needs to have the good outfit. Secret room we don't need. Also, there is a battle here we don't 
I mean, I technically... Let's see what this battle is. Because we have to kill a swine and skewer at some point. Or skewer, however it's pronounced. Um, some him. Let's get rid of those first. Nice. And I guess we drop everybody. Stunned. Nice. Mm. Let's just do this. Wow, he resisted. Just heal him. Chest is always nice with the high dodge. He's dead. So I guess... Wow, well, resisted the bleed again. Didn't bring any keys. Okay. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yeah, we will not need the torches. Oh, actually, well, guess we might as well. Let's do one fight, torchless, since we will be camping in the next room anyway. Um, nice. I mean they can they can crit really high. That seems fine for now. Guess we squeeze in probably another heal. We might. Too late. Get the um, mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Don't forget the holy water. Squirming, contorting, and ever expanding. Okay. This horror must be unmade. He's just hound using hound Harry. And stack bleed. He will buff and then stack bleed. Uh, A momentary abatement. Nice. Oh, I should have used. Oh, she already had the holy water buff. Inspiration. It's kind of 
gekauft. Nice. Okay. Um, oh, we just hit it. Let's do one more and then start with the bleed. Nice. That's a good target for for the Chester. Right there. Maybe a Brigand Wolf percent in the future? Yeah, probably. Um, also, there might be Viscount and Countess as well. We'll see. Nice crit, by the way. Oh, that's almost the worst possible um, configuration here. So I think we just bleed more. Hope he doesn't die. It's eighteen. Yeah, it should be dead. The crit. Should be dead, right? Yeah, 21 and 9. So it's dead. Nice. Goodbye, Mr. Flesh. So there was no. Um, Swine skewer in this mission. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. <laughs> All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay, nice. She, yeah, she only has shot mercenary left to purge. Alright. Mm, okay, so we're almost done with the warrants completely. I guess we could just do um, profit. Because, hey, why not? Uh, sure. I mean... the first profit, right? What could go wrong? Probably should not bring this miss, so... Probably should bring him... This profit might accidentally kill somebody. And since we want this miss to survive until the end... There we go. Uh, good. I mean, we can even do it torchless, really. Yo, 80 max. 80 max. 
Ja, du hattest es kurz zu voll. Ähm, I'll go for a quick smoke in the meantime, while this loads. Be right back. So yeah, I'm almost done, well, basically, I'm only missing 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So I need to level the ruins to level 7 and do the rest of the bosses. I need to level the cove to level 7, which is not too far away. Um, we're completely done, basically completely done in the warrens. Did all the bosses and stuff there. We're almost done with the wield. Um, we need to do two more darkest dungeons. We did wolf. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit is left. A couple hours. What's the record on this category? There is no category for it and I don't know if there is a shorter run than mine somewhere on the YouTubes or somewhere else I actually don't know the Darkest Dungeon Completionists um, is it like all achievements, even like the DLC ones? Um, then yeah, probably. I mean, like, not even, it would take me not that long, for sure. But yeah, in casual play, I can totally see it taking 100 plus hours. Do nightmare percent for shield break shield breaker for the means. Back to the pit. So yeah, I I can totally see it um, taking a hundred plus hours um, in casual play. For sure. I mean, if I had, if I would do all the DLC achievements as well, I probably um, would have done some things differently since we, I mean, you need to grind Endless Harvest for all DLC achievements as well. So, um, it doesn't really matter. I guess like if I, if I have if I'm done with all the vanilla ones, I can, I could technically do an, uh, the extension basically and do the DLC ones. It's basically another grind. That's uh, what it is. Doing the sleeper like ten times for the, for the memories for the mill, and also doing the three hundred kills and. Farming all the shards for all the trinkets. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, yeah, I mean, since I, you know, since I have played so much, and it's it's kind of automatic, most things, and I don't have to think too much. Especially like key bindings, having like the abilities ordered the way you are used to them is really a thing. Because you usually, you can usually guess um, what of your heroes is going next. Usually you will have a certain order in many cases, not in all, but in many. Well, one off. So you usually kind of know what to press next.
Oh, we can actually now... Oh, I didn't... What did I bring? No, I didn't bring the Shark Mercenary Vestal. I mean, she has a bunch of negative quirks, so might as well perch the least bad one, I guess. <coughs> oh, actually, I've got torchless all the time. Breakthrough, maybe. Nice. Oh yeah, mana downs is um, is nice, especially for new players. I don't need to open that. Do we even want to camp? Nah. Oh yeah, for the, yeah, man at arms for the profit for sure. The madman hides there behind the pews. It's behind the pews. Um, yeah, let's get this all um all passed up. Oh yeah, man at arms is how you dumpster wolf. Yeah. I mean, I dumpstered wolf without man at arms, but for casual players, definitely bring a man at arms. It becomes much easier. Oh well, that was not my intention. Just get rid of this. <laughs> Get 23 damage back. I just went in with Hellion to Highwaymen and basically killed the barrel of bombs every turn. Um, spent the rest of the attacks that were left on Wolf, usually. So, um, don't actually need anything really. Uh, Okay, we're we are basically waiting for a town upgrade event to get this one. Um, could get this. We're almost done here as well. Um, I guess could upgrade, but it's not. Mandatory. Oh, we could upgrade the stagecoach actually. Uh, sure. Okay, we want to do a short. Um, oh, we actually probably need to do a medium one, right? Hmm. Okay, I guess we get the cove to level six. Um. Oh yeah, he has a lot of... Oh yeah. There is something to purge, always. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, prison hour, I should have. So, as I see, we will need another highwayman. There was no highwayman there. If we don't want to risk losing Dismas. But I guess. Uh, oh, wait a second. Not on a short cove mission. Yoink. Um, cove is bring herbs for corals. Don't need torches. I guess we can bring some holy water. So uh, for one achievement, I need to kill one of the special enemies that appear on champion difficulty in all the regions, which is like the spear throwing swine thingy and the skeleton in the ruins that buffs everything, the dooting skeleton, the mean skeleton, one of the two or three, I guess. Um, it's the squiffy ghast in the cove. FTX Kreezuo, thanks for the follow, man. Much appreciate. Um, so yeah, uh, we already killed the squiffy ghast though, and we also killed the hateful Virago in the wield. So we're only missing the ruins and the warrens one. That layout is actually not too bad for a cove, since uh, it can end up have, um, having many um, forking paths, one-off, nice. Get rid of the snails, please. Wow. Uh, no, I don't have to get all the um, diary notes, journal entries, that's what they're called. Oh, hello. I mean, I could. Um, I mean, I will probably still have it, would still have enough time to collect them all if I had to. Let's try and stun the tank because it's fucking annoying. There we go. One off. Okay, it kills itself. Nope. This must can't hit, I guess. Please, game, give me a coral so I can perch the shark mercenary of the vestal. Mm 
the crit heals. Getting getting the stress down himself. First chest. Holy crap. Yes. We can skip the last room so we're done here. Gonna go and look for that one Curion. This twisted cavernous maze seems almost traversable. Almost. Oh nice, we don't have to. <laughs> don't have to scare the warp for the next quests. Oh, I guess if we bring somebody who needs to go on the endless harvest. Wow, no champion missions spawning here. I guess we do this then. They must learn more than brutal bloodletting. They must need a couple here as well. The quests, but I'll first try and upgrade these first. Uh. I mean, could have just gone with them, really. 